Hello, welcome to Geometry Virtual Learning. This is the last lesson on Circle Theorem, Circle Theorem 4. And in this lesson, we'll be talking about uh, when you have intersection between a tangent and a second outside a circle, what is the relationship between uh, the two lines and how to work out missing lines. And I'll be use, using some proofs to explain the relationship and also go through exam style questions. Right, so that's the theorem 10, dissecting tangent and second outside a circle. So that is a second AC and that's a tangent DC. What does the relationship say? Relationship says always the tangent, the length of the tangent squared must always equal to the external of the second times the whole second. So you can say dc squared must be equal to cb times ca full length of the second now let's see why is this so let's look at some proofs so i'm using the green and blue cords to create two triangles so we have the bigger triangle a d c and a smaller triangle B, D, C. So I'm first going to establish molarity, and once I'm able to express that they are similar, I'll be using corresponding ratios of their size to prove the relationship. These two angles are equal. If you remember what we did before, alternate angles are equal because that is a chord, that's a tangent. So this angle between the chord and tangent should be equal to the only angle in the next segment that's the alternate segment so these two angles are equal reason alternate segment are equal second c is common to both sides so if you have two triangles and two pairs of the angles are equal then the last angle must be equal as well because angles and triangles add up to 180 so the third angle here must be equal to the third angle in the bigger triangle as well. Reason is that angles and triangles add up to 180. So if I know two pairs in both triangles are all equal, then the third must also be equal. Now, here it's difficult to see the similarity now. So I'm going to split the triangles as usual so we can compare. Right, so let's check black angle black angle green and green red and red now let's look at how to express the ratios of corresponding sides okay if you look at AC AC connects the green angle and the red angle and the line that connects the green and the red angle is what DC. So you can express ratio using AC and DC. The next ratio is this. DC here connects the black line, black angle, and the red angle. Let's look for a line connecting the black and the red angle. Black and the red angle is so also what BC. So that's the next ratio. So we have CA divided by CD is equal to CD divided by CB. And if you rearrange by cross multiplying, CB multiplies CA and CD multiplies CD. And CD times CD is CD squared. That's why we have CD squared equals CB plus CA. And if you check what do this stands for, CD represent the tangent. CB represent the external of the second and CA is the full length of the second. So that's why the relationship is always CD squared equals CB times CA. So just remember this. If you can't understand the proof, just remember this. Now let's look at this question. You're supposed to work out what X is. Start with your relationship. CD squared must be equal to CB times the full length of CA. 
CD represents what x squared equals 4 times the full length 8 plus 4 is 12 so 4 times 12 x squared is 48 so x is square root of 48 that is 4 root 3 and to 2 decimal place x is 6.93 let's look for another let's look at another exam style question here is a combination of two things take a moment Study the question carefully first. Okay, so you're supposed to find out x. Now you realize that the second AC part of it is missing. So before we can work out x, we must find out what is the length for EB. So we first have to look for the relationship between the second and a tangent. And once we're able to work out EB, we can now use intersecting chords inside the circle rule to find out X. Okay, so to find out the full second CA, we know to find Y, tangent squared, which is this, should equal to the exterior 10 times the full length of CA. So tangent squared is 16 squared. The external is 10. The full length of CA is 10 times, sorry, the full length of CA is 10 plus 8 plus Y. That gives you 18Y. That's why it's 10 times into bracket 18 plus Y. Remember the 10 represent the external and 18 plus Y represent the full length of what? The second. Now you solve for Y by expanding the bracket. So 16 squared is 256 and you expand the bracket, 180 plus 10y. You solve y for y the way you solve your normal equation. Subtract 180 from both sides. And you divide each side by 10. So y is 76 divided by 10, which is 7.6. So we are now going to replace y with 7.6. Now having known this to be 7.6, we can now know the full length of the second AC. Or we can also know the full length of the chord AB. So we know the full length of chord AB. We can now use chord relationship to work out X. The chord relationship is product of each section should equal to product of the other section. So we have AE times AB should equal DE times EF. Substitute the values 8 times 7.6 should equal to x times 4. Solve it as a normal equation. So you have 4x equals 60.8 divided through by 4. And that gives you x is equal to 15.2 centimeters. And that brings us to the end of lesson 4. And that finishes our lessons on circle theorems. Take time to watch each lesson one by one make notes and try exam style questions. Thank you very much for watching and share with your friends.